Hello and welcome Libra. This is your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share widely. It really does help the channel out. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Librans, what we do here, we will gently divide your readings you're reading here in sections because it's easier to then give the messages and also it's easier for you to understand and internalize the messages. So what we will do here first, we will look at the overall energy for the month of April for the sign of Libra. Before we then go in and look into your emotional core, and the emotional core is all about, you know, if there's love coming in, uh, what needs to leave, you know, if there's healing that needs to be happened, that sort of thing. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities. And opportunities are for the most part, not always, but for the most part, also aiming at, at seeing what sustains you financially, if that makes sense. Now, money is not a financial, uh, it's not a spiritual currency, so it cannot be manifested. But obviously, you know, with the, with the prices going through the roof everywhere, opportunities are about, uh, um, you know, what can you do um, that not only highs your vibration, but also very likely uh, sustains you, your, your, your life and your livelihood. Having said that, I only work here. So whatever the guides say, I will say. <clears throat> and that's how this works. Before we move on to your emotional, sorry, to your overall energy, let me just tell you something else which is important for Libra. And that is that the full moon on the 6th of April, and I recorded an entire video about this, sits in the sign of Libra. So your emotions are really, really protected because the moon sits in your sign and also are worth your time to look at if that makes sense so be prepared that you might be a bit more emotional simply because the full moon is sitting in your sign on the sixth anyway for more uh, please 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 look at the um the full moon reading for april 2023 again it is in your sign anyway are you ready Let's look at the um, overall energy for the months of April 2023 for the sign of Libra. Let's see what we got. Okay, and I'm working with with, with uh, Animal Guide deck, and you have the Scarab and you have the Peacock. Now, you ready for this? The first thing the guides are saying to you, remember, you are the seventh house, the seventh sign. You are all about balance and harmony. That is an imprint that Libra has. That does not mean that this imprint always helps you. In the overall energy, or for the over, overall energy, the Scarab is saying, I'm a revered beetle. Right? Not everybody likes beetle. As a matter of fact, Scarab is a nice word, but it literally is a dung beetle. But here it is. Unless the dung beetle rolls shit uphill, there's nothing for the bees to do. So the point is, while some people dismiss you and find you not interesting maybe, um, or less uh, um, give you less value than you deserve, right? short answer is, fake them. Right? You know your store, you know, you know your score, you know who you are. And the scarab is saying to you, I can lie dormant for years on end before I then make a move. And it's not meant as an aggressive move. But because you have the scarab as the overall energy for your months of April, you are asked to understand and reflect. Am I doing enough? Am I holding back? Right? Am I still lying here? Because with the, with the, with the full moon in Libra, and the full moon, which is in your sign, is the first of the full moons that is in spring. New energy, fresh start. The scud up here is raring and daring to go. So please, please, please look at what am I not doing? How come I'm not getting the drive? I'm not finding that, that, that strength. Find the strength, it is inside you. Now, the other animal guide that you have here for your over energy is the peacock. And the peacock has these, this beautiful wheel, and it looks very cute, very beautiful, very appealing, but it is actually meant to confuse predators because it has a thousand eyes on it. So therefore what they're saying to you is, part of what you are 
or what you need to look at and understand in order for you to actually progress in life because that's the energy of spring it's like yeah let's 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 get stuff done um is that the peacock at times rather than looking at, at at what needs to be done he just puts the wheel up every time there's there's some trouble you know it's going to be nice nice look nice all good very very non aggressive very a bit submissive actually um so the point they're making is maybe it's time you know that you don't put the wheel up right but understand that um you don't have to hide from anything and anyone and that's the message that I'm getting for you is to be coming out of this I'm lying dormant face and uh, grab the balls by the horns if that makes sense or the, or the bulls but the bulls by the horns um so that's what I'm getting really really important go forward and but go forward with conviction right even if you feel or if you say I don't really feel it doesn't matter mimic it there's a saying fake it until you make it and it's not quite meant that way but you understand that um you can either give in to be sluggish or you can go like okay i need to do something here and this is the time in the months to do it and it is aided by the very fact that the uh, the full moon energy is so strong um and it sits in your sign of libra right so that's what we got here you can hear um the, the cat in the background there is a a literature here so if you hear these noises that's just um the cat you know setting herself up for a poo or a wee i might spare you what it is not important for the reading <laughs> anyway so let's move on to your emotional core um for the sign of libra for the month of april 2023 and what you have is again oppositions you have the red-headed woodpecker and the ring-necked pheasant so The woodpecker is the animal that says when it comes to love. So, number one, I don't see you this month in my vision here um needing a lot of healing to get done, right? Because you already taken care of it by being proactive, right? You 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 sort more stuff by being out there. So that is your over energy. And when it comes to to anything to do with your emotional to with your emotional state and you with your emotions, um which again will be likely triggered by the full moon that sits in your sign. You have the woodpecker and the pheasant. Now the woodpecker is saying, no matter how how difficult you think life is, you'll manage. You will just be fine. The woodpecker gets stuff done, and the pheasant, which is the the outgoing energy of the for that for that part of your reading, is the animal that goes, I'm very intelligent and I'm one of the most short birds in the country. So the point they're making is here is. If people want to misunderstand you, they will. Don't over-explain yourself because some people just listen to respond, they're not listening to what you're actually saying. So understand that when it comes to your emotional core, it is your task to figure out how you feel. It is not super important, sounds a bit wrong, but it's not super important to figure out how the other person feels. Right? You deal with it anyway. So if you are in a relationship and you want to you want to make sure that this can go on to another level or if you're actually manifesting a relationship and you want to make sure that this doesn't that it's not the same the same difficult one that you had last time then obviously first you need to look at yourself and that's what they're asking you figure out how do you properly feel um and and because you have the pheasant sometimes you might be confused yourself going okay i don't quite know what i want and that's fine you don't necessarily have to always know what you want you just have to know what you do not want that is the trick here okay that was your or your emotional core and now we're looking lastly at uh, opportunities as it presents to you in the months of april 2023 and i'm actually drawn to my to my uh, galaxy ball so let's have a look okay now when it comes to opportunities they're not super abundant and what i've been shown here is for you to realize maybe if i just look for opportunities on my doorstep they might not be there i might not find them at this location so what you are being asked is to see you know is the location working for me uh, whatever you do for a living if that makes sense whatever you you do per se um um maybe it's time to get itchy feet again and 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 diversify a little right um because the energy here is that opportunities are out there 
but it doesn't feel like they're right where you are. So should you be a person that is quite happy where you are, all the universe is saying, that is fine, but eventually it will become stale or you will feel like, okay, it becomes routine. And your job is therefore to also make sure you, can, you might actually um, venture out a little. Libra, that's all I got for you this month. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And I hope I see you next month. Bye-bye.